Pterosaurs in Cute Week? Hello and welcome back to another installment of Pokefodder. This video is going to cover Jurassic World Alive for the week of April 27th through May 3rd. Now I'm going to throw out the disclaimer at the start of this video that I have no idea when 1.14 is going to be released, but we did see teasers for it last week. And this week looks very odd. The reason why I say that this week looks odd is because of the breakup of it and exactly what the week is pterosaurs and cute. It just seems really odd to have a themed event when there are no holidays around, but here we are. So the breakdown for the pterosaurs of the week is going to be Dimorphodon and Hatsagoptrix on Monday and Tuesday only. That is a shift from the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday that the commons typically hold. On Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, we are going to have five rare pterosaurs, a Ramborghinia, Quetzalcoatlus, Scaphognathius, Desungoptrus, and Tupandactylus, leaving Saturday and Sunday to be the flyers of Alenqua, Darwinopteris, and for at least the second straight week, maybe the third straight week, and maybe the fourth out of the last five weeks, Pteranodon. As far as the Strike Towers and Trials, they are going to be cute themed. This is going to include creatures like Blue, Carbonimis, Draco Rex, Echo, Nasuceratops, Scolosaurus, Stegosaurus, and Gallimimus. So all things considered, not a bad week at all. But the week does feel really light on towers. As has been the case all throughout this quarantine time period, we are going to have one tower that switches between 15 minute and three hour incubators, Monday through Sunday. But then according to the graphic here, we only have two other towers that are going to change during the day, which is a, a big change from what we've had in the past. Now I do have to put this out there that these graphs have known to be wrong in the past, so keep that in mind. We continue with the theme of getting five rare incubators during the week. Those are going to be Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. Three epic towers during the week. Tuesday and Sunday are going to be cute themed towers, while Friday's tower is going to be Titanoboa themed. We are going to have a rare scent capsule guaranteed over the weekend three themed scent strike towers, and then the stat boost tower of attack on Wednesday. Additionally, for our hybrid pursuit, it should be Wooly Rhino that is spawning this week, which is going to be very nice. Remember, it makes either Monolo Rhino or the new hybrid Keratoporcus. You could go either direction on that. And the tournament this weekend is going to be the last of the inaugural Alliance Championships. It is going to be worth two times the point value, and you're going to be able to use non-hybrids, and I don't know why I can't get that through my head, but non-hybrid epics and rares, anything goes, any levels, any boosts, non-hybrids, no gamma, no Yoshi. I cannot get that through my head. So now you know what to expect from Jurassic World Alive this week. If you want to hang out with me, I am streaming live on Twitch Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And I don't have a set schedule for when I time, so make sure you are following me on Twitter so you know when I go live if you want to be part of the conversation. As always, links are down in the description below. You will also find a link for 50 free hard cash. Make sure you claim that that is from Ludia. They give it to me to pass on to you guys. And if you found this information useful, Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. If you are liking the Jurassic World Live content, go ahead and subscribe and turn on the alert notifications so you will know when the next video drops. That's all I've got for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And until next time. And what the simulation says is that Diplodocus is by far and away the best creature for this tournament, winning a whopping 87% of all matchups possible while only losing four in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Those are the kind of odds that I want to be playing with. Basically.